And we are underway. Tries to feed it over to Pugliarvi. Poked away at center by Anderson. The Oilers grab possession to the puck. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Edmonton's carrying the puck deep inside their own zone. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Play whistle dead offside the call. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Monahan's won the draw. Looking to make big time stop there. Wrists one. And the Lance clogged up blocking that. They go on the attack from the left side. Picked up along the boards by Backlund. The Oilers have it against the wall. Shot deflected. And he makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Dubé. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. While the home team is really under pressure on the fans' note. Look at the pass. They could have got going now. There's a collision. That's picked up. Grabs a hold of the puck. Cutting to the page. Oh, what a save on the play. Scooped up by the D. And they finally stop the pressure as they get it out. Quick feed to Sherratt. Dishes it to Anderson. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. The Flames gain possession along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Edmonton's got control of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Centering feed. Picked off in front. Stenland swooping in on the attack. There's a chance in front. And that goes off a stick. And now it's over to Cassian. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. My goodness, what a save by Markstrom. Another stop by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Into the attacking area from the left side. Quick pass to Jost. Steps across the blue line. Pushes it across to Town. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Here's a chance. Turns it aside. Markstrom's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still lots of time left in the period. Still scoreless in this one. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Handles the puck at the point. And it's a quick pass to Nurse. A centering chance! Another pass! Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. There's back-to-back -back saves. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stop before the puck is cleared away. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still looking for our first goal. Denies that great opportunity there. Scores! Oh, what a shot! He got all of that one. Calgary's playing with a little confidence now here, Ray. Completely different team. The last couple of shifts, it seemed like the puck was starting to come for them. Now they're on the board. And they're going to be confident now. The Flames win it. Here's a short pass to Kachuk. With possession along the wall. Here he is, shot inside. He was locked in there. Sometimes you're in front, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck over to Hannafin. Edmonton's game possession. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Calgary's got it along the wall. Quick pass to Lindholm. Pass broken up. Hangs on to the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. We got a penalty. 
something coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. You can feel the desperation ramp up as they're trying to get that equalizer. This penalty's really gonna hurt them. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. You can really gain some momentum on your first power play. Even if you don't score, get some chances, make it a positive event. And they manage to clear it. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. The Chuck's rolling along on his point streak. You know he wants it to keep going. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. Moves it to Hannafin. Can't get a hold of that pass. Up along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Clefbaum. Time running out with this man advantage. Here we go. Cassie is ready to join the play. Here's a shot. And he was ready for that one. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. Lindholm's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Sends the pass in front. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Getting into the later stages of this period. Calgary's ahead, 1-0. And momentum on their side as they win. Scores! Ryan Nugent Hopkins! Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Right in the slot! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. There's the horn to conclude period number one, and Ray Ferraro's already off to grab his intermission hot dog. We'll be back in just a moment. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. Fails to find the open man. Rocks him against the board. That's a great hit. I love the way that he took the ice away and slammed him into the wall. Here's a short pass to Anderson. From in close. Nice save from point blank range. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. The Oilers will serve two for holding. Calgary's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. One minute and 14 seconds. Downs gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Offense is on the face-off and he wins the draw. And they get that puck down the ice. 
Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Tube. Sends the puck across. Too much congestion in front. Handles the pass. Dowd's got it on the offensive end. Shot! Oh, what another save! Now, this is a good save here, James. I mean, he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop. A difficult one from the slot. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Lindholm's won it off the faceoff. The Flames take it along the wall. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Quick pass to Lindholm. Edmonton's penalty killers get a hold of it. Grabs the puck and moves on out. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Flames can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Now the pressure ramped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play tie. They do a really nice job. They keep the game knotted as the power play wasn't able to cash in. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And now he angles it across to Clefbaum. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Kachuk. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Passes over to Yamamoto. Tries to get the puck to McDavid. Shot! Gets a pat on it. What a stop by Markstrom. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Here's a shot and a great save. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck. It's a forest of bodies in front of him. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to McDonough. Dubé's got the puck. Moves it to the middle. Takes the blast. Puliarvi's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Here comes the official's call. Sometimes the sound your stick makes on the other guy. Markstrom's got that workhorse zone ability, guys, which means if he faces a lot of shots in a game, he can turn up his compete level to come up with the stops. The Oilers win it. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! And there's the go-ahead goal as they capitalize on the power play. Tie game, you want your special team to maybe get an opportunity, and then they've got to take advantage. This game's untied because that power play was ready to go to work. The Oilers have taken the lead here in the second, but I wouldn't say it's safe. Doesn't feel like it at all. This seems like a game that's going to go right down to the wire. Centering pass in front. And that's stopped. The Oilers have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Yamamoto. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. On the attack along the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Skinner's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Oilers are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Puck picked up by Anderson. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. And another stop. Picked up along the wall by Mangiapane. Puck scooped up by Chirac. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Sends the pass in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Sends it out front. Couldn't complete the pass. Anderson's got it along the boards. The Flames looking against the half wall. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Jost. Puck dumped in. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Calgary's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Snaps it on net. And a textbook pass save there. 
Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. And he puts that one aside with ease. The Flames are in transition. Fires it! And there's the save! Skinner's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. Dreisaitl's good at moving the play along when he distributes the puck with solid, firm passes that his teammates can handle, guys. He just loves setting them up with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. Lindholm's one possession. McDonough's lugging the puck. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the pass. Puts the puck on net. And he's got that one. Quick feed down low. Unable to reach that one. Calgary's in transition. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Edmonton's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Let's it go. And he keeps that one out. Markstrom's one of those goaltenders that the busier he is, the better he is. The more shots he gets, the more locked in he is. Tonight he's been terrific. Now a quick pass to Goudreau. The Flames played along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Takes the shot, and he comes up with it. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. Here's an odd man rush. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here in the late going to the frame, Edmonton's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Monaghan's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Feeds the puck up to Anderson. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. There's a save. Markstrom's on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Markstrom's gonna bounce on it and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Can't find his man. Slides the puck over. And nearing the final minute of the second. Quick feed to Hyman. Markstrom's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Oilers win the draw. Puts it on net, and that one stop. Trying to get back on the attack now. Sandwich along the boards. That is a perfectly delivered hit. Rammed him straight into the boards. Joseph's won a big draw on their own end. Buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going. But anyway, we'll back with more tomorrow. Time for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Sadalski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. We've got 40 minutes in the books. Ray Ferraro is between the benches. Ray, how do you see things playing out? Calgary's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. The Oilers gain possession. Quick pass to Kachuk. Taken by Hannafin. Moves it around along the half wall. 
Moves it to Lindholm. Stopped by the goaltender. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Dreisaitl's been really quiet tonight. He doesn't have anything offensively. But the good news is his team is right there. Oh, what a stop by Markstrom. Sometimes the goalie's just better than everyone else on the ice. That shot comes in. It's a good one, and it's through traffic. I mean, he's got him screen, but he finds the puck just long enough to react and make an excellent save. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Oilers lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. And that's broken up with a stick in front. There's a solid collision. The Oilers play it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Can't connect on the pass. Across the line, down the left wall. From point blank. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Smothered that in close chance. More than half the period left to play. The Oilers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Ryan's won the draw inside his own end. Now he takes it over the line. The Flames have it from their own end. Slides the puck over to Tanev. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And he moves it up to Ryan. There's a firm collision. Quick feed to Coleman. Handles the puck from the left side. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Stenland. Oh, and another big stop! Got some great goaltending there. Stop one, stop two. Both of them turned aside. Puck grabbed by Sherratt. Looking to make something happen at center. Calgary's got possession at center. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Through center along the wing. Here they come on the rush. Turns it away. Markstrom's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Markstrom's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Joseph's won it in their own end. Pass to Carpenter. And now it's over to Wagner. Downs gaining momentum. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Dermott. Calgary's on the attack. Oh, what a save by Skinner. Shut it up. Again, the denial by the goaltender. That happened so quickly. There's no help from the defense because the puck's there. And it's back at the goaltender again. He turns them both away. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Puck sent over to Falamaki. The Flames carried along the wall. Quick shot! Oh, he got all of that with the blocker. What a stop by Skinner. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Takes the shot and punches that away with the blocker. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. And they finally stop the pressure as they get it out. Here's a short pass to Dow. Denies him! But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Can't make the connection on the pass. Scores! And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if the goal scoring doesn't slow down here. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Barry. tricycle has got it in the defensive end. Feeds the puck to Nurse. And now he angles it across to Pugliarvi. Feeds the puck over to Dreisaitl. Poked away in the neutral zone by Backlund. 
And he serves it across to Pugliarvi. Moves the puck. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two-on-one. Markstrom's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Coleman's won the faceoff. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Just misses. Let's see the call here. McDavid's going off for slashing. Face-off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Hey, it looks great. Great shot, great passing. But until you make it tough on the goalie and get to a rebound, it's not going to work. Stop by the goaltender. Centering P. The shot. And he gets in the lane to block that. Scooped up along the wall by Hannafin. Angles it over to Lindholm. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And a great read to turn that play aside. The Flames take it from their own end as they make a line change. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Puck picked up by Kachuk. Easy peasy right there by Skinner. some offense as well. This is a smart play. With the lead, he dumps it into the corner. Now he can forecheck a little bit, try to kill some clock. Along the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. Feeds it to Cassian. Nearing the final minute of regulation. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Through center. Backlund's going to play it against the half wall. And that's turned aside. Great A chance right in the middle of the ice, and the goaltender makes the stop. Here we go. Face off inside the offensive end. The net is empty. They've got the extra attacker out. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Sends a pass over. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Dreisaitl stick handling in his own zone. Here's a chance. Scores! And that's the hat trick! To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers. You're dealing with the line matchup. And it doesn't matter where you are. Three is a great night. Takes it at center. The Oilers have it against the wall. Calvary's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. And into the empty net. That should probably do it here. I would think so, James. I mean, this turned out to be a pretty good hockey game, but once the empty net are hit, that seems to seal the deal. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And now it's grabbed by Hannafin. Look at this. It's a two-on-one. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Markstrom. Anderson's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Everything seems to be moving in slow motion now. That penalty stops the clock on the way to the end of this game. tonight. 
pretty much over if they don't win it. They have to respond down 2-0. They do a really nice job.